Welcome to Cake and It's Special. My name is Lauren and this week we are making a Prince Charming Frog cake topper. So here we go. For this topper I start with some pale green modelling paste. I use Renshaw's. I'm just using my hands to form the frog to make it wider at the bottom while keeping it flat and then working in a head at the top. I also use my fingers to pinch in some froggy cheeks. When I'm happy with that, I take my balling tool and push in some eye sockets. I also use a sculpting tool to score in a smile and then use a tiny balling tool to push in some kissy lips. like he's just sat around waiting to be kissed. Now I take more of my green and make a flat triangle for the feet. I use my sculpting tool to push in a couple of triangles into the foot and use my knife and fingers to define each toe. I make four of these and then stick them to my frog with a little bit of water. For the legs I roll out cords of my green modelling paste and work in a bend. Then I fold it in half and stick one end to the body and the other half to the top of the foot. When I've positioned their legs how I want them I have to push a glass up to the side of each of them to hold them in place while they're drying. I have to leave this aside for a while and then I can work on the arms. Again, two long cords with a slight bend and stick them in position as you want them. Next, I start on the crown. I roll out a strip of white modeling paste and then use this fancy strip cutter I have that leaves me with some pretty zigzags. I use a ruler to cut a straight line and then take one of my pots of food colour in so I can wrap the crown around it. And then leave this a while to dry. And while I'm waiting for that, I can start to add some colour to my frog. So I line up some of my green rainbow dust and start building up some colour. Although it isn't long before I decide that I want to go over this with some rainbow dust diluted with clear food grade alcohol because that will just help me to get paint into all them difficult to reach places. And now I have to leave the alcohol to dry. <laughs> Once that's dry, I add some more darker green to the shaded areas, like inside the mouth and the eye sockets and the bends in the knees and so on. I use two balls of white modeling paste for the eyes and then painting the detail with some more of my rainbow dust with clear food grade alcohol. When the crown is set, I give it a coat of gold paint using my Sweet Sticks palette. It may take a couple of coats, but you have to let the previous layer dry completely. Back to the frog, I just keep building up colour until I'm happy.
I wanted the crown to have a fur line around it so I roll out a cord of white fondant and push the circle into it on top of the head. Now I can just add some tiny fur lines. I also add a couple of black dots in there. And now I can finish him off with a little bit of pink on the cheeks and some white catch lights for the eyes. And there he is. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel. I bring you a new tutorial every single Wednesday. So hopefully I will see you next week. Thanks guys, bye.